Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Well, today's about something I feel strongly about. So if you find today's episode informative, please hit that lovely like button. It helps get the video out to lots of people. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Again, lots of people subscribing because you're hitting that like button and getting the video out to people. Uh, and thank you if you have subscribed already. I appreciate every one of you. If you haven't signed up to a free trading platform, there's links down below where you get a free share for depositing from £1 up to £100. And you can get a free share up to $200 or £200. Now the boring bit's over with, on with the show. Thousands of essential workers to get pay cuts. Now, I'm sure you heard that companies such as Kroger, Target and Amazon, they gave them a pay increase during this period I heard because they kept giving me emails uh, with updates about what was going on and they didn't stop emailing me about how they was uh, to support their workers during this period they was uh, giving them a pay increase and taking on more staff Well, maybe these uh, companies should treat their current staff better. And because it seems that these companies have forgotten to send out an email saying they're going to be taking away those pay increases a week later, a week after they've implemented them. Now, I can see this going very wrong for these companies. These companies have a huge demand and still have a huge demand. There's plenty of people who are still using these companies. And they are... Especially with the likes of Amazon and that. And when your workers are being paid to stay at home or they, if they can sign on unemployment benefit, they can be furloughed. And you uh, start you start saying to them, we're going to take away the pay increase. Firstly, it's going to make them think I'm going to stay on unemployment. I'm getting more on unemployment than what you're paying me. And so truth, it's hard working for you anyway. If you're going to treat me this way, the virus isn't gone. I'm risking my health, risking my family's health. And and there's plenty of other companies hiring because their staff are staying at home during this. So why don't I use this opportunity to work for a better company? Because if you're going to operate like Amazon or if you're going to operate like Costco, you get Costco results. Now, it's not just these companies. These are the three companies that have confirmed it. 
but there are other companies such as Starbucks that are also looking into doing it. And you've got to remember that in the UK, Royal Mail, the CEO, now he seemed like nothing would stick to him, no matter what. When he was in charge of GLS and there was a strike, someone died on the picket line because he instructed uh, a van to just drive through the picket line. He was still there. He actually got promoted. When the... Uh, when the... Uh, when he went to Royal Mail and people were posting on social media, this job has gone to the dance or things have gone downhill. You know, it used to be such a good company to work for. He's fired them for breach of social media practices. which was put in place to stop people posting videos of what was going on inside the plants. When, uh, and he was still there. He tanked the share price from £3.30 a share to £1.20. He was still there. He made them from a profit-making business to a loss-making business. Still there. Sold off all their land. He even went with one of the plants, got them to sell off the land and instantly lease it back for the price they b sold it for, for a 70 year lease. I mean, that is insane. But he was still there. Now, he, he was, Going up, but until this virus, the postmen were rightly considered heroes. They were risking their health, going out during the virus, delivering much needed supplies to people, delivering tests to people, delivering medication to people, and working in cramped conditions where social distancing couldn't be imposed. And still, he tried to take away 22,000 jobs by saying, well, we're not going to deliver on Saturdays anymore. Not just for during the coronavirus. We're not going to put in a clause that until the virus is over, but permanently. We're going to use this as an opportunity. Now, nah. and once he started going after the postman, who in the public's eyes were considered heroes, any essential workers at the time are considered heroes. The NHS are top of the list, and then you go down like NHS, grocery workers, postman, and like there's a tier because they're keeping the country going. Now, these people will find they will lose out. Amazon, Target, Kroger. I actually recommended Target a while ago. I think I'll pull that because any gains Target were going to make, once this becomes public, I think people will actually uh, turn their back on them in protest. I hope they do anyway. Starbucks, I've recently recommended. And if they implement this, because they're actually looking at it as a way to cut costs, they don't need to. They've cut costs with their rents. Uh, they're saving money with a drive-through instead of a sh shop. 
there's a big uh, Starbucks around the corner for me. Not open purely because it doesn't have a drive through They're not opening anything, anyone that doesn't have a drive through now. Only the drive throughs are opening. So they're saving a huge amount of money with that. So, and they're making a huge amount of money and they've just opened. These guys, these guys at the top need to get in their stuff in order. They need to start looking after their workers. Look at look at Virgin. He's selling off Virgin Galactic, and he's taken out a one percent loan against his island to try and get the government to bail him out. And then to try and force his hands, he's saying he's going to lay off all these workers. If I was the government, I'd turn around and say, register your company as a UK company, based company. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything. And uh, like Donald Trump did with the cruise liners. You uh, have uh, Uber because they're being investigated by the Attorney General laying off a lot of their staff so they can say, sorry, those staff aren't on their books anymore. People need to start voting with their wallets and go elsewhere, even Amazon, because there are other uh, online sites out there that are just as cheap as Amazon. They may not have the range, but they're just as cheap. You may have to go to two or three sites instead of one site, but when Amazon's practice, working practices have been known for a long time to be so bad. It's worth doing a little extra search. And for those who have Google stock, your Google stock will go up because you're doing more searches. I just think this is good. And this isn't like a workers' rights video. Those who have do have Amazon stock, those who do have Target stock, those who do have Kroger stock should be wary because you, you may see strikes coming. And the same with Starbucks if they implement it. And there's more companies looking to implement it as well. Anyone who gave the pay increase is apparently looking to take away. <clears throat> That's why the safer ones are the ones who gave them a bonus. Anyway, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'll try to get the information out as quick as possible. Um, next up is going to be which stocks the Swiss, Na Swiss National Bank are looking to buy. And I haven't forgot you with about uh, which kit I use. If you want to start a new channel, as I said, all of mine are, are live. I don't edit it. I can, but I prefer to get the information out as quick as possible. However, I use a mobile phone and laptop, and you don't need it. A fifteen hundred pound laptop. You don't need a thousand pound phone. The links to the ones I have uh, down in the description below, as are free trading apps where you get a free share. If you uh, have any comments about today, please leave them in the comments box, and I'll see you in the next video.